Okay, what's a capacitor? What does it do? Why do we make one? Why do we want one? Well, here's a diagram first of what a capacitor basically is. Capacitor is two plates in its simplest form. Usually these are stacked, as we're going to see in normal capacitors. And uh, you have a positive charge, and you have a negative charge. And in between here, we have what's called a dielect dielectric, or the mica. In other words, it's an insulator, but it still allows the attraction of the positive and the negative uh, to become attractive. So, I thought of an example to explain something about capacitors. Capacitors do, not that you can't do all kinds of things with them, but I want to focus on these two, well, really only one function, but we'll mention the other one. Capacitors can store electricity, and somewhat like a battery, but they, the more you put into it, the higher the voltage becomes and the power that goes into them. It doesn't, it's like, it's like pouring things into a bathtub when you get done. There's a lot of water there and you can dump it all at once. Okay. The other thing that's the, the thing that I want to stress here is uh, capacitors oppose or stop direct current and they allow alternating current. And I thought this kind of amusing anyway to me, may not be to you. Uh, way of explaining that. And that's this way. We have 16 teenage boys and 16 teenage girls. And in between them, we've got a thin, thin but flexible barrier. Well, they can hear each other. And they, they want to cross over, of course, you know. And uh, so what the boys do is they push on the barrier. And Girls notice they're pushing and say, guys, what are you doing? Well, we're, tr we're trying to break this down. We're going to push on it. And girls say afterwards, let us give it a try. And they push on it. So what you have is this alternating system of pushing and pushing. Okay, of that barrier. What happens after an hour of this? Well, everybody gets worn out because the barrier in this case didn't break. So a lot of energy got expended and there's still no contact between the two. So this in some ways explains what alternating current does in a capacitor. You have this attraction and pulsating attraction with alternating current. Now, just in this case, a lot of energy was expended. Now it wasn't captured, but see in a capacitor, we capture it. The other side captures it this pulse, okay, uh, just like this if in this example I used here, there was some kind of, of generator hitched to the, to the thing, so whenever it flexed, it charged, it, it used that kinetic energy and turned it into a useful purpose, okay? Now with direct current, back to the boys and the girls, is that we cut two doors in it, but they're one-way doors. We have a door that goes this way, and a door that goes this way. And so there we allow the open flow of the boys and the girls, but only in one direction, okay? That's direct current, okay? And say so alternate current, the electrons never quite transfer over, but they can uh, still have an influence on the other side by that by the fact of the alternating current moving back and forth. Now, so then we have a device that stops direct current and allows alternating current. So you can just think to yourself logically, well, there would be cases where you might have a circuit where part of it's alternating current and part of it's direct current, and you might want to separate that. But also, uh, 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 Another use is the fact that radio waves basically are, in some ways, like alternating current. So capacitors can be used to tune circuits to uh, pick up a specific frequency. Now, our capacitor we made is fixed. It has a fixed value. But there are also variable capacitors 
which we'll discuss in part three. But for now, the important thing to realize is that capacitors oppose direct current, just like this barrier with the boys and the girls, but they allow alternating current or that pulsating force to be applied and to pass. Although no electrons actually pass, just like no boys and girls pass, but there's still power and energy that goes through even though that barrier, the barriers within the capacitors exist. So, I know that's kind of a crazy example, but that's what I came up with. 